My name is Jason and welcome to Catch Fish Not Feelings. We had such an epic day on this trip and I didn't do a lot of vlogging just because I was just super hyper focused on catching fish and there's just so much going on that I didn't have time to like do any vlogging or talking. But I'm here doing a voiceover instead to describe my trip to you guys. This was a super last minute trip and as some of you guys may know, the Mahi Mahis or Dorados have been crazy these past few weeks. There's just been so many of them in the water and that was the goal for our trip today. We were out looking for kelp patties as you see in the video. You know, floating pieces of seaweed that congregates fish together and we were looking for Dorados. After a few empty kelp patties, we finally found one that had a school of Mahi Mahis and it was just beautiful. I got some clips thanks to my buddy Eddie and man these guys are just beautiful there's probably about 30 of them in the school maybe I'm over exaggerating but they were just beautiful this was actually my first time blue water hunting so you know, it's, it's a big learning curve for me after Eddie scopes out the patty and says there's Mahi Mahi, I jump right in. Naturally, I do miss one shot at first just because I'm not used to like spearfishing in open water. It's really different when you're out in the open water because there's really nothing to provide perspective. When you're hunting in the reef, right, you can tell how far something is because of surrounding rocks or kelp. But here, there's nothing that acts as a sort of reference. And so naturally, I missed my first shot, and the fish was just way too far. Eventually, after reloading my gun, you know, I was trying my best to be really calm. And I did notice that if I swam directly towards the fish, they were swimming farther away from me. So what I ended up doing was, I was swimming a little diagonally, and kind of like sideways, kind of with them and eventually they decided to come in closer and that gave me the opportunity to pick out one and I picked out the biggest one that was closest to me took aim and landed my first Mahi Mahi Here, I was trying to tell my buddies to come over because what we were told is when you shoot a mahi mahi, or what I've seen too, is when you shoot one, they kind of congregate together, they come close to check out what's wrong with the fish, what's going on. And so I was trying to get my buddies to come over, but they were just a little too far, and the school ended up passing. I think the school's over here. I think the school's around here.
nice one, buddy. <laughs> a beautiful go. goal. Oh. Wow. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks, it looks so beautiful, bro. Oh, Come closer. It looks so beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at the colors. <laughs> nice shot, too. Look here. Look here. Can you take a mask off for a second? So after finding a few more empty patties, we decided to change plans. Our plan was to head to the San Clemente Islands to look for yellowtail and like in the kelp forest. But something just clicked and we were surrounded by schools of tunas everywhere. Like they were literally boiling everywhere and there was foamers everywhere. And we switched gears and we decided to do tuna hunting. You know, this was something I was definitely not mentally prepared for. There was just so much going on and there's such a big adrenaline rush when it comes to this. You know, everything happens so fast. The captain tells you right away to dive 50 feet because that's where the fishes are. You have like, you don't have a lot of time to do your breathe up. You gotta dive right down there before the fish swims away from you. And just being in the water with these fishes, it was definitely amazing but they are super fast. They're built like torpedoes and it's just so hard to kind of take aim. And you know, this is my first time doing this. So it's all new to me, but it's still, it was still such a great experience. And Captain Fusaki, Captain Christos gave really good instructions and me and Eddie landed our first tunas ever. You know, definitely not bad for our first times out there. You know, we, I don't even have my own tuna gear and all this stuff that I'm using is actually Captain Christos' stuff that we're just borrowing. You know, he's definitely very experienced in finding the blue fins and hunting for tuna. But pretty much breaking down the gear, you have a big tuna gun, a lot of bands or a lot of power because you need that to shoot those tunas because they're really fast and they're really muscular. There's a lot of thickness to them. And then the spear that's on the spear gun is attached to a bungee, which is about like at least 100 feet. It's really stretchy. And then that bungee line is attached to a float. So once you shoot a fish, the tuna is gonna pull that float, tire itself out, and then it's your turn to kind of work your way up and like pull that fish up the surface. pretty much a snippet of what we experienced that day. You know, it definitely felt like we are in a National Geographic movie or documentary and it's just so crazy, you know. I've seen videos of this, I've seen foamers before, but being in the water with them was just a whole entire experience, you know. All those little glimmers you see in the water aren't even bubbles, they're actually fish scales from the tunas going crazy on the anchovies that they were eating. And you can see that I took aim at one, you know, but I hesitated because even though these guys look around like 
maybe 40 pound or 30, 40 pound tunas, I definitely didn't feel confident that my Rife 110 could hit one. So I didn't bother trying to shoot one at all. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of me shooting my own tuna because, of course, the best things always happen when your GoPro runs out of battery or you forget to turn it on. In this case, my GoPro died right when I got to the school, so I didn't get any footage of the shot. But I did get some footage of all the tunas I missed, and I wanted to share with you guys to kind of go over what I did wrong. So like I said, this is my first time doing this and you know, mentally I wasn't prepared for all this. Everything just happened so fast. Here, I think I was rushing it. I didn't even hold the gun properly. And that tuna was just way too far. You know, I think I was just panicking and like I was running out of air. I just wanted to take a shot at anything. You know, thankfully I went over this with Crystals too and he gave me some really good advice. And you know, it's all a learning experience for me and hopefully I'll be more successful in the future. Second dive here, same mistake, you know, I was kind of rushing it, panicking a little bit and I took a long shot at a tuna that was so far away, it wasn't even close. And then looking at this too, you know, the fish is already swimming away from me and I don't even have the gun aimed towards its eyes. So it's not a good, it wouldn't have been a good shot anyways. In this clip here, I actually got closer to a tuna and I was actually shooting distance away. But my problem was, I didn't take my time aiming. You can kind of just see me point real quick and shoot. And you know, that's something you want to avoid doing. You want to take a few seconds, one or two seconds to kind of track the fish a little bit, aim and shoot. That way you have a better lineup. But also in this case, it looked like I aimed a little too low as well too. And this was towards the mid body. And at the speed the tunas are swimming at, if you aim at the mid body, that shot is most likely going to hit its tail where it's more likely to rip out the spear. So Eddie ends up shooting his tuna first. And now it's my turn. This is the clip where my GoPro dies unfortunately, but I recall diving underneath the school about 50 feet and I was just looking up and all these tunas are just kind of swimming past me and eventually a big one swims towards me, I take aim and I hit it, landed my first bluefin tuna, I'm diving with all those fishes, the fight itself was insane. These guys are so strong and I got to witness that firsthand. After I shot it and it made some runs to the float, it took about 30 minutes to bring it back up to the boat. Captain Christos gave me a secondary float and that float is used to clip onto the function line and it's to help fight the fish. But that's enough of me talking, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If you guys have any advice, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them just to improve and be better next time. And remember, catch fish, not fish.
Do the boat, do the boat. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, go, go. Oh, good go, go. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Jason. Jason, what's happening, bro? I I Jason. Personal best calico bass. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, have you ever shown a yellow tail? It's my first time. Yellow tail. Yellowtail? No, I haven't. I've never shot a. Uh, let me see. A white sea bass? No. <laughs> you shot one, but you missed. I missed though, you yeah. Missed. But, and this uh, is it. Right after it's the only first time blue water hunting. And the Dorado <laughs> on the back. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good oh, combo. Woo. That's a nice jumbo, baby. Oh, man. Woo! Oh, man. Picture time. Okay, okay, okay. Spray, spray a little bit, spray a little bit. You gotta spray it right here. Nice. That is good, buddy. Cinematic? You got it? You got it? Yeah. yeah. Woo. What's happening, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Woo! Let's First go, open, baby! That's it! Woo! Alrighty, it's just oh, like each other. The <laughs> Holy shit. Let's get another one, boys. Straight Eddie. on shot, dude. It was down at an Eddie. angle. What just happened? I just shot a bluefin tuna. Bro, have you ever shot a yellowtail? Have you landed a yellowtail? Never. Have you landed a Dorado? No. White sea bass? No. <laughs> what? Like you go straight to tuna? Just calico. Just calico. <laughs> bro, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you yeah, got one. Bro. You saw some? No, I didn't. Yeah, like that. Take a picture of it. Woo! Yes. 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 Nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We got the Dorado. My fucking. Prize tuna, about 121, around 120 pounds. It's built like a torpedo. These things move individually, make the sharp turns. Torpedo shaped like fish. This tucks in streamlined. Look at that. Streamlined, right? And it's like indented in here too, to make it streamlined. But yeah, look at this monster. Hi. This fish is not gonna go to waste. Dorado was beautiful too. We we're gonna go patty hopping at first. Switched over. We saw how good the tuna was uh, boiling. And yeah, just a great lucky day. Nice. Woo! That's some good meat on the head, dude. You know, you can't be wasting that. Yeah. Woo! <laughs>